Hey everyone, uh, it's Adam here. Uh, this is just a quick video. This is just a quick update video um, to show people what to do in case this ever happens. Have you ever had this happen to you? You've installed some software, some scenery add on, maybe an airport, and you get there and you're like, what is going on? You know, uh, this doesn't look right. And then you've got like buildings floating in the air. Maybe you've got blue lakes on the ground. You've got missing textures. You've got all sorts of weird things going on. What do you do? Well, it's possibly because of two other programs. Um, and I've, I think I've touched on it in another video, but I want to actually show you in this video, step by step, what to do if this happens. It's an easy fix. It doesn't mean you have to uninstall the software. It just means you're not finished installing the software. So I've just installed uh, from Aerosoft the Las Vegas X uh, scenery. And it's this whole city. And it affects the, um, the airport that we're sat on, which is KLAS. That's the runway ahead of me, supposed to be. But I've got a big, massive wall in front of me instead now. So... Um, basically, what's happening is a program called Orbex, uh, or and more importantly, Vector Orbex Vector with the um, the tool, the vector tool that it comes with. Okay, uh, still needs to be configured. Let's shut this uh, down and that exit that's right. Uh, this still needs to be configured. So. What you need to do is run the auto configuration for FTX Global Vector. And that's going to take about five minutes, depending on A, how fast your system is, and B, how many add ons you've got in there. Uh, it's checking them all, making sure that there's no conflicts. But it's also checking your scenery config file and, and realigning things that it should be in the proper place so if my las vegas airport went into the sim at the wrong place in the scenery config file then it's going to show weird in the sim like that so by running this it means it's going to realign it but what it's also going to do is mess with other things that i need to then fix for instance these uh pta assistant I will need to run this afterwards um, and reinstall my shaders after that this has run its course. Then once I've done that, I can then load the sim back up and load back in the, uh, the same airport, which you will see uh, in one of my videos. Um, if you go to the video uh, Las Vegas X, Aerosoft, uh, you'll see then what it should look like. That video is like the continuation of this one. Okay, so all I'm going to do is run auto config. When this is finished, I'm going to apply. That's important. Then I'm going to exit out of this. I can even exit out of FTX now. I'm going to exit out of that and then I'm going to go into this and I'll just run this now even though it probably won't mean anything, I'll have to run it again, but just, just for the purposes of showing you. I open up into all my shaders, and these are all the shaders I use. I use Tomato Shade 1.7 currently. I open that, go to Actions, and Apply Preset. Preset has been applied successfully. Done. Okay? Then I can load back into my sim with the weather installed, and everything will look okay. Alright? Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care.